Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. Gosh, how this has flown by. Today is Sunday. Charlie and I are hosting a roast. We've got Rory and Nathan coming over in about four hours time for a roast beef Sunday roast. Charlie and I are doing our usual weekend tasks, which includes making sure all of the um, flowers and plants in the house are watered so our hydrangeas hellebores are looking a little bit sad they just need a little drink and then we leave them to soak in the sink so that they can actually drink from drink from the bottom up so that the roots get lots of water already given these a water um, and then I'll also just go around the house and any flower displays that are in a jar or a vase I just refresh the water in that so that they are looking fresh and the flowers perk up. We've basically only got what we need for the Sunday roast in the fridge. Um, however, I spotted that we do have some puff pastry which actually really needs using. So I thought I would do today, um, because the boys are going to come at around midday and then we're not eating until three, I thought I would do a little kind of uh, tester of Christmas, really easy Christmas canapé, which is basically a feta, parmesan and spinach mixture. You can put some pine cones, um, not pine cones, what are they called? Pine nuts. <laughs> Toasted pine nuts on top. Sorry about my appearance by the way, literally woke up like this. Yes, yeah, so you've got this like cheesy spinachy mixture in puff pastry, so I'm going to give that a go. Um, but first, I'll finish doing my flower admin and I need to get dressed. That would be very helpful. Oh, this smells amazing. We've got our stock just defrosting on the agar. It doesn't look particularly appetizing at the moment because it's slightly separated, but I'm pretty sure we got this from Piper's Farm when we ordered our Christmas turkey. So I can't remember if I've updated you, but this year it was quite the family debate, but we have decided to do turkey joints instead of a whole turkey, just because it's going to make Charlie's life so much easier and we got it from Piper's Farm, and I think that's where we got these from as well. Although I'm sure Charlie will correct us if that's not right. Just gonna make our Christmas a whole lot easier. You have not moved all morning. You're a real sluggy. You're a real sluggy, you are. You get fluffier by the second, and I don't actually know how it's possible. You're so scruffy. I've finally done a face of makeup. Massive shout out to Living Proof Advanced, advanced clean dry shampoo. Because I have not washed my hair in a little while and this is bringing it to life. And another shout out to the Colour Lip Balm in the shade Tutti Fruity from Kiko. It's one that kind of adapts to your lip colour and I am just loving it and it's really tasty. <laughs> So there we go. I thought I would do, um, I need to try on the bits that I ordered from H&M to decide what I'm going to return because I just don't want them in the house <laughs> during Christmas. I just want to get rid of anything and I have shown you these items before two days ago but I still have not tried them on. Um, so I obviously didn't insert try on clips. So I thought I would just very quickly do that with you and then I can do my whole keep return and clear out bits that I don't need to keep so let's let's try some bits on <laughs> so first outfit this is the last the, these are the last few pieces that I showed you um, this is actually Arquette but everything is all on one website now 
I like the pieces individually, um, and I might try splitting them out, but I'm not sure that they really work together. I'm quite pleased to report that the smaller size in the trousers fits me better. <laughs> um, these are the size 6. I think a few of the brands that I've been trying lately, the 6 in trousers, which was my normal size pre-mac and cheese in summer, but um, yeah. Our cat sizing is obviously a little bit more relaxed, so the size six fits me. I think it was another story's the woolen trousers that I was I was getting a size eight. I like the trousers, I like the top, I'm just not sure on them separately. I have got the outfit on with my gorgeous Dior heels, which I adore, and I need to find lots of outfits to wear these over the Christmas period. We do get quite dressed up for our various activities over Christmas. We've got a Christmas cocktail canapé evening at George and Petra's on the 24th, Christmas Day we get dressed up on the 25th, Boxing Day we get dressed up and we basically do Christmas Day part two on the 26th, 27th we go out for lunch, on the 30th Charlie and I are going out for dinner, um, we've also arranged some really amazing festive things for this Friday. So yeah, more festive outfits are required. How about if the top wasn't tucked in? Because I think that looks a bit weird. This is quite a nice, actually I prefer this. This gives it a more relaxed, festive feel. It almost feels like elevated pyjamas. <laughs> yeah, I quite like this. Hmm. I think I prefer, I feel like it's actually a little bit more flattering when it's not tucked in. And the, the sheen of it gives it real festive vibes. Um, and I'm sure I could wear the bits separately. So yeah, I'm a fan of this actually. I guess you could wear, hmm, could you do a chunky knit with these trousers? Let's just give that a quick go. Okay, I've popped on my sleeveless, this is quite a funny one because it's completely open here, but a little sleeveless knit. And actually, I really, really like how this looks. I'm not, pr prior to doing that Instagram outfit challenge, epic fail, I never really would have gone for trousers because I always find, obviously, dresses and skirts more comfortable. But this is, this is different for me. Um, it's a nice outfit to include the Dior heels, which is gorgeous. I would probably curl my hair nicely and do a half up, half down. As I mentioned today, it's just blah hair. But yeah, I like this. And I think if I wore like a, a body underneath, um, instead of just like a lacy bra, it would be a little bit more acceptable. But I actually, I find this a lot more wearable than the, the matching set. So yes, I like this. I think this is definitely a winning Christmas outfit. And the trousers, they're fairly high-waisted, comfortable, yeah, size, get your normal size or size down. Hmm. Yes, very happy with this look. So this is a definite keeper. I am a huge fan of jumper dresses and whenever I find a perfect one, perfect one, I just know that I'll get a lot of wear out of it. So yeah, this is a definite keeper. It's got a little slit down there, but it's not too high up the leg. Like some um, knit dresses, I don't know why, they do a slit like up to here and I just don't want that much leg on show during the cold season. This one is really plain, high neck, chunky knit, plenty of room for thermals underneath and yeah, I just wear things like this all the time and this one is a total classic. So very, very easy decision, the jumper dress is a keeper. Now, as much as I do love a jumper dress, there are only so many that I need. I had really high hopes for this one because it looked really cool on the website, but as you can see in this vista, it's very dark. It's actually not black, it's brown. It's quite fitted, um, but I just it's just not it's just not quite fitting right. I do generally prefer lighter colours to darker colours, and also there's something weird going on with the shoulders of this. It's got a very sloped shoulder. Can you see what I mean? I don't know, I think this would maybe suit to, from further away in nicer lighting because that where you are is very harsh lighting which is very annoying when I'm trying to show you bits and look nice. Yeah, in slightly softer lighting it is nicer. It makes me look more like curvy than I actually am, which I don't mind. But yeah, I think of all the jumper dresses this one is not, not the most flattering for me so this one is going to go back. I like the pattern though, it's like a cable knit. I have been exceptionally lazy here and I've not taken off my bra, so you can completely see it underneath the dress. Um, however, I did want to pair these two together anyway, um, so you can't really see it. The dress is 
first off, not one for those who are conscious about their tummy, which to be honest, especially at this time of year, I am, um, because uh, it's the way that it hangs, it just sits on the tummy. This is the kind of dress for girls that have insane bodies. <laughs> or go wild with their skims. But I do like how it looks when you're wearing something on top. You could also put, again, a chunky knit on top and then it essentially just looks like a skirt. But the benefit of it being a dress and not a skirt is that it hangs much more nicely because it's not cinching in around the waist. So that is, that's the main benefit. But having said that, I do love how it looks with the little boucle jacket. This lighting is so, Awful, I'm so sorry. The boucle jacket is a very affordable piece. If I could design it myself, I would have preferred it to be three quarter sleeve because I just don't think it's as elegant when the sleeves are full length, to be honest. I think this will actually do the trick really, really nicely. This will show you like how much nicer does it look when you can see a little bit of wrist, a little bit of hand, as opposed, like that just looks unfinished doesn't it but luckily because the fabric is quite stiff i think it will actually stay put to fold it up the material is lovely it's a it's a boucle with a little bit are they even i think so with a little bit of sparkle in it you've got the most gorgeous detail here on the pockets the buttons are quite simply fabulous the shoulders fit very nicely considering that this is such an affordable high street piece um i think i might actually wear this to the fabulous event that we have got on friday again imagine with hair that has actually been done nicely as opposed to sunday dry shampoo hair let's just pop a little clip in yeah, I think this is very elegant. The dress is lovely when worn as a skirt, um, but obviously, you know, that's quite nice. I think, yeah, really like that. It's skimming on the buttocks, a nice champagne-y colour, again, with the Dior shoes, which I think I'm just going to get so much wear out of. Yeah, love this look. Especially now that the sleeves are cropped, that has made so much difference. As I mentioned um, when I was unboxing all of these bits, I'm not typically a jacket wearer, so for me the high street is so much better because I don't want to spend a fortune on these pieces. Let's add some nice earrings. These are the nice cream London earrings that I got for my bridesmaids for our wedding in summer. You might have noticed we've started posting a lot more shorts on YouTube, um, so seeing how that goes, and I think in January I'm going to repurpose loads of our wedding content to do some like wedding tips shorts videos so let me know if that's something that you'd like to see just because i know so many people get engaged at this time of year and january is such a wedding planning time that was so elegant i love that earrings with sparkle and pearls just instantly make an outfit so much more elegant yay love this Okay, this is not the right styling at all. This is a sleeveless sleeveless vest and to be honest I just was craving the comfort of leggings. So I've got my leggings on and they'll probably stay on until the boys get here. Um, something, it's giving a little bit of Star Wars I think because of the like paddedness of the sleeves here. I think this is the kind of vest top that normally like quite cool people would probably wear a cotton shirt underneath so maybe that's how I need to style it um, but would I ever wear something like this I would probably wear a roll neck underneath it nice layering piece um, and the quality is really good but yeah not to be worn just with leggings okay this is one of those things that's really not going to look good on camera but that is actually a really nice piece and I know that a lot of people probably myself included this would be something that you just grab and grab and grab because it's just so easy to wear. This is just not going to look good with this annoying contrast lighting. It's because it's so grey outside. It's a very dark brown, very slouchy, oversized knit. And I love it. <laughs> it's very dark. Um, I can do dark brown, but I can't really do black. Aside from the leggings, like these leggings, these are actually the um, the Amazon ones. They look exactly the same as Adenola, but they are in fact from Amazon. I'll leave them linked down below. You could do a little tuck tuck if you wanted to. Tuck tuck. There we go. Um, I prefer it undone. 
very big sleeves, very big sl slouchy sleeves. Um, if I'm cooking, I'm gonna have to roll them up. I like the fact that it is a mock turtleneck, so it's a high neck, um, but you don't need to roll anything down. It's not itchy, it's actually very soft. Yes, I like this. Um, and I actually can't be bothered to try anything else on because I really wanna stay in this now. So I'll just show you. Oh, maybe I should put a festive jumper on. Um, these two dresses, I did show you them before, but this one I think I am actually going to send back because like I said, I don't want big slits. It's a nice thin jumper dress, but it has got a big slit. And this one is like an olivey draped short dress, which I wore in a reel, which may not have gone live yet, but I'll pop some of the footage on the screen here so you can see how it looks on. It's quite sexy because it's clingy and it's short. I don't know, normally show legs, um, but yeah. Anyway, I have one other knit as well which I did show at the end of the last vlog. I'll pop a little clip on the screen here. I'll probably be talking in the clip, um, but it's got a really cute like snowflake pattern and a scalloped bottom and I love it. Maybe I'll pop that on when the boys arrive. So yes, those are the bits that I purchased. There is actually one more knit. This one um, is just another classic big chunky layering piece in a lighter colour. I do find these lighter colours very flattering and it's a really nice warm wool blend. This is also wool, so nice warm layering pieces. But yes, right, I'm gonna go and um, make myself some breakfast. I think I just wanna have like a nice smoothie and um, get my little spinach puff tarty things ready for when the boys are Earlier in the day than normal to do the advent calendar. We just keep forgetting, don't we? Well, uh, like well out, pretty good. Yeah, but oh, we have to confess what we've done. I did I it too. Mine. So have I. Have you? Yeah, I smashed <laughs> it yesterday. I smashed through it yesterday. Yeah. I was inspired by you. Basically, I um, I had a on. I had a look in the recycling drawer uh, bin, and I saw Charlie's entire chocolate advent calendar, and I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. Kay. Day number nineteen. <clears throat> nineteen. Gosh, we are flying through. Can anyone see day number 19? They really are quite hidden. Mm, it's not the best lighting in this room either. Mm, not the best lighting in this house in general. Um, I actually cannot see it. It is... Ah! A jar. Another one that opens like a little secret scroll. Do you want to take the camera from me, darling? Yeah. Right. It's quite handy. Yeah. I know, I know. The guest room that has had the most rebrands. Would we call our cinema room, PlayStation room, a guest room? I mean, eventually, but I wouldn't say it's a guest room now, is it? Oh, the gold room. <laughs> Who I remembers don't know. when I was poorly for three weeks, <laughs> prior to being poorly, <laughs> I said to Charlie, whatever you do, we are not painting the gold room green. And then I emerged from my flu three weeks later but in here to get some that story in. had a happy ending because and what green. What did you say? I said, to be <clears> fair, <throat> it's really good. What's this? It's a bit of a random one, but I thought it was really cool. I actually think it was a, a sheer Lux gift guide, but from like oh, wow. ages ago. Oh, for all my dancing videos. Well, so, so the idea is, I believe you put it on the thing and it follows you. That's actually quite clever. So if I'm doing like a recipe yeah. or something. Well, you do you do often do stuff where you film to camera on your phone and you're either holding it or balancing it on something. And you can do it horizontally as well. Yeah. That's awesome. We'll have to try this out later. That's yeah. I hope it works. I hope it's good. Um, but I just thought it was something a bit different. And it's pink. Oh, this so is let's awesome, have a look. Right? So let's for this. It doesn't really focus, does it? Pivo, Pivo. It's a terrible brand name and a terrible logo. I'm not gonna lie. So it's got <clears> auto <throat> zoom. It's got auto tracking. I guess it comes with an app as well, then, because you can see you, you can clip it onto a yeah. tripod. That's awesome. Well, who knows? So let's see if you use it. But I thought it would could be quite useful. Whenever I say yay like that, what's it arrived you of? Yay! Oh. Oh my god. It does remind me of something. Yay! I don't know, you have to tell me. Our wedding. When, because Heather, the... Event, oh yeah, that's what it she is. she was like, you may now kiss the bride, and everyone was meant to start clapping then, and there was like a split second pause, and she was just like, yay! Yeah. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Yay! 
can hardly watch our wedding video because you can see it. It's That's so what it is. Right. Thanks, time. Right, let's okay. get cooking. Well, now we're going to do the lights on the tree outside. Right. And the so a quick task that Charlie and I are going to do, hopefully it's going to be quick, we are going to illuminate our outdoor Christmas tree, which we showed you a couple of vlogs ago, our organic <laughs> Dales for Christmas tree. I noticed we had a few questions as to what this building was, um, and this on the top half is the chapel that our house is attached to, and underneath is a barn. So there we go, I hope that satisfies your curiosity. Right, Charlie's bought ah. These need very large batteries. Are you going to help me, Dexie? I'm going to do a little bit of untangling. This has got to be the worst Christmas job, hasn't it? Untangling Christmas lights. These are outdoor battery powered ones. So someone is going to have the fun job at night before we go to bed, coming out in the cold and switching them off again. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave you on a time lapse while we're doing this. I guarantee you this is going to cause an argument. I bet I bet this is how most couples start bickering at Christmas because Charlie is such a perfectionist when it comes to things like lighting tre trees. I will do a time lapse but if there are any corkers I'll leave them in just so you can see how hilariously precise Charlie will require this to be. Roast is about half an hour off. We're about to pop my cauliflower cheese into the agar. Charlie tried to make me choose between cauliflower cheese and Yorkshire pudding with a roast beef, so I said, don't worry, darling. I will do my epic cauliflower cheese, and oh, it's gonna be sensational. Got beef and roasties and carrots in the oven. The Yorkshires will whiz together at the very last minute, and it's gonna be rather scrumptious. And a dark pup Still sometimes I wonder If you're near or off yonder Though I couldn't tell you why But wherever Well, this is absolutely no good whatsoever. Let's get my trusty Amazon light out again. If it's got battery. Ah, yay. <laughs> So my darlings, I have to apologise for the amount of um, B-roll footage you've had today, which is essentially footage where I just leave the camera going, but I don't actually talk to the camera. But I think when you've got friends over, <laughs> especially friends um, that are not YouTubers, I don't want to be constantly like, you know, talking to the camera. So I hope you don't mind a little bit of behind the scenes of making our cauliflower cheese. Um, 
and the delicious Sunday roast. We had roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, cauliflower cheese. Um, Charlie did some Brussels sprouts, which is absolutely delicious. And then we just spent a lot of time in the drawing room um, just having a really good chat. So yes, there we go. Just taking off my makeup now. Whoa, under a very bright light in the usual way. Starting off with my face halo the product that I wish I had invented and that I recommend to absolutely everybody. Again, really good stocking filler. We've just been thinking about our very, very last minute Christmas gift guide as well. Um, and a few things actually. So obviously, obviously Amazon Prime is an absolute savior. I'm gonna use my Allies of Skin, whoa, Allies of Skin, Molecular Silk Amino Hydrating Cleanser because this is such a gorgeous one, especially after a day when you've been sat in front of the fire and you just need really good ingredients that's going to pamper your skin. Yeah, so if there's anyone that you've not yet bought for, I thought of a couple of good things today actually. So first of all, um, I'm going to leave linked down below our Amazon storefront page because obviously Amazon Prime is your best friend when it comes to last minute gifts. And actually we found some really, really good ones, whether you're buying for someone who is like a social media addict, <laughs> there's so many different lights and gadgets that you can buy. Even like the thing that Charlie and I got, Charlie got me for Advent today. But Amazon aside, I thought that gifting someone a wild nutrition subscription would be such a good idea and encourage them to do the free 15 minute phone call because then they can get it completely personalized to them so wild nutrition as i'm sure you know it's the supplement brand that i take every single day i love them they are food grown so actually your body knows what to do with them it's not full of just a load of junk like filler ingredients like so many of the other supplements on the market are and if I was buying for someone, then I would say, okay, I'm gonna buy you an annual subscription, but I've also arranged for you to have a call with a an expert because that's actually free, but then you can make sure their subscription is personalized to them. And that's the kind of thing that you can just like print out a voucher <laughs> and you don't actually need to wait for anything to come delivery wise. And then there was one other thing that I thought of and now I can't remember it. <laughs> I don't know. So yes, I will just leave you leave you on that little note. Oh, face halos. Yeah, face halos. I'm sure you can get on Amazon or other next day places. But my goodness, when you're watching this, we'll be on the mega, mega countdown. Less than a week to go. Or a week to go. Until Christmas. OMG. Ooh, <laughs> I'm looking very shiny now. So I'm just going to do a little mist of the Allies of Skin Probiotic Treatment Mist. Which is... something that I apply multiple <laughs> multiple times a day, so many skin loving ingredients from the same range there, eye cream, this is the peptide and omega firming eye cream, this one is a little bit thicker so I don't, I don't use this one in the morning so much unless I'm having a real like leave your skincare to sink in for an hour kind of morning but it's a really lovely nourishing one for in the evenings and then I am going to finish tonight with an oil. This is the Eve Lom. <laughs> so I can't even see what I'm showing you. Eve Lom treatment oil, which my skin absolutely loves. This is a really quick version of my evening skincare um, because I really just want to get <laughs> into bed. What are we watching at the moment? Um, well, obviously, down to Nabby. I think we're going to start watching the second film tonight, A New Era, which is. Um, I think it's available on the Sky Cinema, I hope so, because I don't want to have to buy it from anywhere. So there we go, I'm going to end today's Vlogmas here, my darlings. Thank you so much for watching. Um, just put the remaining oil in my hair because I'm going to wash my hair in the morning. And I'm going to leave you with a little treat, an unseen clip from our wedding, which I came across when I was looking for the yay <laughs> clip that you'll have seen earlier. And it is actually of one of my favorite moments from our wedding. It's when JJ's, boyf JJ's boyfriend, Freddie? Freddie's boyfriend, JJ, did like a flash mob on us. He just grabbed the microphone and started singing Stevie Wonder's Superstition and just 
everyone went everyone went wild for it it was he did such an amazing job it was yeah truly one of my highlights it was one of the things that we were talking about so much the next day it blew me away it was so amazing so here's a little clip of that and i'll see you tomorrow good night Thank you.